Hello everyone, welcome back to Walker Bee Ranch. Uh, we're gonna try to uh, do a quick inspection today. It's a, uh, the big hive. I've got some hive beetle traps. I'm gonna go ahead and put in, try to put it in. I hung a bucket swarm trap up. It's a little bit overcast today, so uh, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, this colony is typically not that aggressive, however, it is overcast and it's the tallest colony I've got right now, so we're going to check it out. Just a quick little uh, view of the bucket. Bucket swarm trap up on a tree, not very high, probably about four foot. Um, really not much happening as far as flying. We will, however, let's go... Uh, Let's take a peek at our little queen that we found yesterday. Um, let's see. If I can even see. So if you saw the uh, live yesterday, let me set those down. Um, <clears throat> If you saw the live yesterday, we found a uh, one of these other nukes that died out over there. At least I thought it died out. Had a queen and right away to the face. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my my veil just for precaution. Not a full suit today. Just uh, just a, a veil harness. All right, just to keep them from bouncing out of my my eyes, because figured they'd probably be a little bit agitated. Hopefully, we can keep them out of my face. Got a brand new, new to me hive tool here. Well. They are on her. Um, let's see, is she alive? Have they kept her alive overnight? She does appear to be walking around in there. So, again, this was a queen that I found in another colony and uh, only had a small handful of bees with her um, as per my live yesterday. Now she has no attendant bees in there so hopefully they are feeding her through the uh, through the cage. No attendant bees in there with her, so I can't tell if they're really trying to ball her or not. But at this point, she is is alive, so that was that. But that's not really what we wanted to do here. It's supposed to rain, so I just wanted to get in this big colony over here and see maybe put in a hive beetle trap. Turn my phone off. This hive may or may not get feisty with me. They're usually pretty good, though. I'm not going to lie to you. This this colony is usually pretty good. Not always. I mean, it is. Ow! Just got stung under the arm as I'm saying that. They really like under my arms. So right now, this top box has bees from here and we've got bees all the way out to here uh, last time I was in this colony the queen was up in the top and this is the third third top I've reversed this box a few times she always finds her way back to this top box um, again it is a little bit overcast so we'll see how this goes we'll start on this outside just going gentle 
not going to uh, I'm not going to go crazy with it. Usually on this outside is is stores. Let's see what she's got out here. And it'll be the same. A little honey out here to the outside. Uh, on the inside of the box, they are connecting it. And the next one. Look at that, we got pollen, nectar, it's definitely a hun honey frame, stores, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna actually set this one off to the side for now. I didn't see any queen on there. It does have that, that nice smell to it today. Of course, like I said, it's overcast. They don't like this at all when it's overcast. Uh, the other day I was in here, I actually found queen cells, so, and this is just some terrible comb that they, uh, they just really haven't tried to fix too much. <laughs> the outside you know we'll see all right so what are we doing out here it looks like I can see some white comb and they're storing some more honey like I said last year this colony was the the colony that produced the most honey for me um, so we'll see how it goes this year. Trying to grow. Looks like they've added some white where they've repaired some comb. Um, so this is the third deep. They're already they're already up here putting in work. All right, this is new ac acorn foundation. Um, that I've added not too terribly long ago. Now they've got one side, look at that, brooded out a little bit. See, this is what I don't understand is she's kinda, they're, you see, they've got pop, well, and I just messed up, but they got pollen around here. They've got just a very little bit of larva in this in this one no no eggs in the bottom yet that I can see on that side the other side they're starting to draw out and work on so that's not bad um, I mean they're doing pretty good on this frame to be honest with you I might just flip it around spin it around the other way put the undrawn side to the inside See if they get to work a little bit more on the other side. Now this colony was pretty much checkerboarded all the way down. All right, again, stores, bees running everywhere, but <clears throat> she hasn't come up here and, and put anything right there yet. But they're working on it. That is definitely worker cell size. They're just, looks like they're just loading it up with stores. Put that one back. Now this next one I can already tell has brood on it. Cat brood. All right, let's look what we got here. So. All right, there are eggs down here on the bottom. Let's see if I can look. All right, so all of this region over here has eggs in it, and all the way down here has eggs in it. So she has laid this out. Um, give him a little blow. 
And she's got she's got eggs this this whole section minus where this food is right there. So it's just kind of weird. It's not a rainbow pattern by any stretch of the imagination on that side. And this side is capped. Um, some stores around the outside, eggs. She's got this one laid out too. So this one's gonna go pretty good, but we do have a cold snap coming up. Um, so hopefully, I mean, this, this box has lots and lots of bees in it. Um, this, this actually is a colony that I want to split, but, and it will probably get split down soon because if I start adding honey supers to this thing, it's just going to be way, way tall. All right, what do we got here? Anything? No queen cells. Um, we got some pollen. Got a new comb down here. It's drone size comb, but it is new. And they're storing honey around. Can't really tell in there. It is looking a little bit white, so it's probably got some brood in there. Oh, look at that. Queen cup to the bottom. Um, have not seen a queen yet. Let's just uh, see what we got here. Bad engineer. We'll just take that little piece off, pop it to the side. But it's, it's not looking bad on... We're only in the top box. We haven't even gone down. So many bees in this box. Mm. Well, that's propolized. They have put the propolis to this stuff. They're very good propolizers. What do we got over here, ladies? Now, usually I see this queen up in this top box. Every last few times I've been in here. They're looking pretty healthy. Uh, I did away them a few weeks ago. My Apivar came in today after two weeks with Man Lake. There's some pollen, baskets. Uh, this dark comb makes it kind of hard to see what's, what's happening in there. Uh, need to start bringing a pocket flashlight. But so far so good, not not too agitated up here. Gosh, I wish you had smell of vision right now. The smell of vision is going good today. They are just packing pollen in. Look at the pollen. That's that's all pollen. That would be a good food frame for a split. They're going to start capping this real soon. That is crazy. It is March 8th. No larva. This is the outside frame, right? So They're looking good, though. I can't complain on this colony. Would you complain on this colony? I'm not. All right, so this is nice comb. They're drawing out. Down, they haven't really done the bottom corners. Um, no larva. Really haven't started this side, so I'm just, there's a drone, see the drone? Little Mr. B? Come here, Mr. B. Go make me a queen. All right, so this, this looks pretty good. I'm gonna flip it around. And I'm gonna take that honey. I know it throws them off a little bit. 
but I'm gonna take this one frame of honey that I put on the outside over here and we're gonna put this bad boy on this side and there we go that's the top box so look they're trying to get the pollen back you better they've been eating Cheetos all right so they're gonna get more feisty the lower I go right that's the plan today because it's so because it is so and here we've got bees on one two three four five six seven well they're on that they're not really doing anything i just checkerboarded these not too terribly long ago so i just wanted to go through and see kind of what they were doing if anything some of these frames were old frames they needed to clean up but all right so nothing there see not doing anything to that which at least when they're they're not doing anything with them i can just move them over not really hurting anything because there's nothing on them so they're really not doing much with these on they are drawing out the new new stuff kind of slowly but they're backfilling it we had brood in the top right we got a little bit of brood right here in the middle but that could have just been a frame that i just manipulated up here right she's not gosh this one's heavy now let me show you look at this this is crazy to me so a little bit of brood right here and some larva however it's honey on the outside honey around the whole thing and right here nothing i mean it's it's really it's jammed all the way up i mean this really needs to be in the top box there's no room for her to lay in there right no room to lay just drawing a little bit of foundation this one they're a little bit further along on they're just walking around they're making bacon pancakes in there i guess let's check this next one i have a feeling i'm just gonna see that all the way oh there we go that's just a little bit of brood you see the larva in there again i still haven't seen her there's larva in there all the way around so this is nice fat larva now the problem is it's too far so we got fat larva all the way through around here nice juicy larva um looks like we got eggs down around the bottom uh at least on this other side eggs in that section um so she is working look at there's a queen cup right there um now what they've done is they've kind of started making wonky comb down here um sometimes they'll do that and just not put it to the to the other section there pollen ring around here um both sides this is all big larva um let me spin this around lots of larva right in there really nice i think if we can make it through this cold snap this weekend um I'll probably go for my 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 new splits 
Um, you guys know my my early splits did not do well um, at all. All right, what we got here? We got fuzzy newbies. We got larva. I mean, we've got brood, right? We're doing it. We're doing it big on this colony. This colony does really well. Um, look at this side. Whoa. And that queen, I can never find her. She's always, there's a brand new bee. Brand new hairy bee, fuzzy bee. Coming to get something to eat. So definitely, uh, she's working. She's putting in the effort. I've not seen her. So here we go back to the outside. Just food, there's some, a drone. And honey. So I'm gonna move this, this one in. And we're gonna play a roulette here. Mm. We could put this one still back on the outside. I mean, they're still working it. Put that to the outside. Just trying to give them some room, something to work on. Put this back in. It's a quick double count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a good looking colony so far. Now the question is, there are definitely more bees in the top than there are to the bottom, right? We we obviously understand that right now. Um, at least in the middle box. They're not working the middle that much. But they do have a lot of brood in there. I mean, it seems pretty good. Let's see what the bottom looks like. Oh, yes Lord. All right, so this one definitely was checkerboarded. You could tell um, by the wood, black, wood, black, wood, black, wood, black, wood, black. So, not expecting a terrible or terribly uh, much out of this bottom. Um, you know, some people might say I actually got too much room in here right now. Uh, you guys put in the comment if you think that there's too much room or if I'm doing a good job with this one um, I mean they look pretty strong in my opinion all right girl watch out I don't want to crush it no crushy no crushy bees today all right so as, as per usual outside frame pretty much uh, looking like they're trying to store some nectar in there um, We'll just put this down for a minute. No queen yet. Let me see if I can adjust you guys just a bit. All right, nothing on this. Haven't started doing nothing with that one. Just food. Stores. No queen yet. It's unusual. Usually I see her right away in like the top box. She's usually right away in the top box. No issues with her ever. Um, not doing nothing over here. Nothing going on. All right, so again, bottom box, food and pollen, food and pollen, no queen, 
they have eggs and everything so i'm not worried i mean she could be just hiding with the other bees but these honey stores in the bottom kind of got me worried um she's up top um should i try to reverse it yet again i don't know um look at that see they haven't even drawn the comb up that much on this and yet they're already got a ring ring of pollen i mean mr rooster just don't know if uh i mean if just let them go let them be the bees let them be bees let them figure it out don't over bug them which is probably all right so this was a spun out frame that had honey in it uh, before I spun it and they've gone to putting honey back in it but they haven't really I mean I guess they are kind of trying to build it up bunches of drones bunches of drones really just hanging out so all they're doing is hanging out over here today working putting in the work I always try to assume they know what they're doing now look at that drone with a little bit of brood over here lots of drones getting ready to hatch well these are pretty new I guess all different stages a little waggling going down at the bottom bunches of drones bunches and bunches of drones But I definitely don't think she's gone like drone layer. But she's here somewhere, isn't she? So, real question is, what would you do? Just leave them? Maybe that's what I do. Maybe I just leave them right now. Just put some uh, traps in here. I mean, they're doing pretty well without me interfering and they probably prefer that <coughs> excuse me so again this was just a storage frame we'll move that out here to this side on the outside so just kind of maneuvered them around a little bit I really like the size of these uh, acorn feeders, so I got some of these bad boys again. Again, I'm not a big fan of them, but I'm, I'm in for using all types of precautions at this point. If I can do this without getting uh, mineral oil all over myself, be awesome. Or, for that matter, all over the colony. Uh, what I do with my hive tool just now? There it is. So we're going to take that hive tool and just... Actually, let's just cut that off. Try to cut it off. Didn't really want a big thing on it. I'm not going to... I'll put maybe one in each box right now. Hmm. 
All right, that's about all I'm gonna put in. The problem is that it's all on the top and the bees will eat that, right? And we don't want them to eat it, but I have a feeling they're gonna eat it anyway. And I'm gonna put that right there. They just don't sit flat. They're just crap. Crap is what they are. All right, let's put this red box back. All right, bees out of the way. Yes, it doesn't take much. Just need him to get in there. We just, I, to be honest with you, I didn't see any beetles in this, in this colony. But they will run them out. I mean, and this, in all fairness, this is a pretty strong colony, so they don't, uh, See, that's the problem. They just get under this edge, and I mean, I guess, let me slide it to the other side, because there is some stuff here, and we'll just put it over, alternate it a little bit. And then you just have to smash under the edge every time you put something in here. So we definitely have the mysterious hiding queen today. All right, now I didn't put a lot of oil in it, but a little bit. Push that to this side. Don't eat that, it's laxative. There we go. Just close that back down. All right, so that's pretty good. Let's see what we got going on in this promoted nuke that we got. And see if they're doing anything spectacular. Need to move, move my other camera too, so we can see together. front of the colony you're behind the colony all right no queen in the lid this is a weird colony this was a nuke that obviously I had uh, moved to a 10 frame a while a while back not too long ago actually um, maybe a month ago but they're doing pretty good. I mean, they're going to town on some pollen patty. They're, uh, this, this was just some spare comb that I had extracted out that I gave them. And it looks like they're cleaning to give the queen some extra room, which wasn't the intent. I just put it in here so they could take care of it. Just a couple pieces. Um, because it was my feeder shim and I just set it in there. All right, get out of the way. This uh, sugar brick, I mean, couple, couple, two, three smash bees on it. They're really not doing much with that. Um, these other ones they seem to be doing all right with, so 
Let me set this down. They're eating this pollen patty, but this is where, where things get tricky. All right, now this colony has peppermint in it. Peppermint here, peppermint here, peppermint what's left over. Uh, let's see if we see any hive beetles in this colony. In fairness, I think I saw one the other day. Um, last time I was in this colony. Just sugar, sugar, more sugar. I actually have a frame feeder in this one, but we do have bees on like one, two, three. Uh, that's got some bees on it. Four, five, six, seven frames. So actually, my spider senses are saying, hey, you need to add a box. That's what you need to do, add a box. And uh, at least some foundations. So this is usually food over here, right? Ugh, good night. It's pretty heavy. Alright, that's pretty much what it is. Food and honey. That I keep ripping open every time I take it out. You can tell by the side here. Just keep tearing out. And if you notice, I made a mistake, got the handle on the inside on that box. Let's just set this right here on the, on the inside. They'll come clean that. This is really more about seeing what the queen is doing if there is a queen, or are they just storing honey? All right, pollen and nectar, pollen and nectar. Bees running everywhere. All right, so this is an outside frame. There's some of that, that protein powder supplement patty right there. See that? See how hard that is? Don't recommend it doing that what I did but it's all in the name of science right so let's just pop that out pop that out all right so right now I don't see eggs or larvae or anything yet Eating, that's what we're doing. So we'll move that one to the outside. Let's see what we got going here. Got a bunch of bees trying to get in and I'm blocking their entrance. Alright, look at that, a queen cup. Is there anything in it? Doesn't look like there's anything in it. And I don't see any, uh, any brood. Well, there's some on this side, huh? Cap. This frame's too dark for me to see down in the cells right now. So there's at least been here queen a couple days ago. All right, not bad. Oh, my lanta. Let's look at that. Next frame over. That's nice. Got eggs all the way around the outside by the honey. Uh, everything's laid up in here. All right, maybe she's just just starting to ramp up a little bit here. That looks good on that side. What's the other side? Equally as splendid. Be nice just to see her once. 
But you know, I'm the kind of guy I don't need to see her. I see eggs, so she was there a day ago. Um, it looks, it's pretty good looking stuff. Yes, me. What do you guys think? Be nice just to see her one time, make a guest appearance. All right, so. Yeah, that, that looks pretty nice to me, guys. She's doing it, doing it big. So we'll put that one back in. Hopefully, uh, I think I spun it wrong. Let's flip it around a little. All right, so this was a new checkerboarded frame. Looks like they're really digging the acorn. I mean, they're. I mean, this is a smaller colony, but they're they're doing pretty good. I mean, I'm not complaining at them. Haven't really done nothing to this side. However, they are starting to work on this other side over here. Um, again, I've used a lot of older comb to try to get them to clean and fix it and repair it and use it. And sometimes they do. It looks like they're just storing nectar in there this side especially nectar nectar and i'll probably end up going back when i'm watching the footage and editing this and find the queen it'll just be in video and not on well i hear them they just piped up a roar a little bit all right well that's weird all right. Don't see her. You know, I haven't seen the first hive beetle in here. So, uh, it's a win for peppermint right now. Win to peppermint. So, yeah, I think this colony is getting ready to really probably jump off. Uh, looks like they're... Feverish, feverishly eating. So maybe they're going to clear some room out. Maybe I need to go ahead and pop a super on here. What do you guys think? Honey super? Is it time? Now this is the most outside frame by the frame feeder that I put in. Well, no, it's not either. There's another one out there. This is one inside of that. More brood. Oh, queen cell. Look at that. That they tore down. So they have tore that cell down. So maybe they superseded her. I mean, it looks like she was doing a fine job. I don't know why they would have. But I guess they know what they know when they know it. So we're going to tear that out. Queen cell. Old queen cell. What is going on? They are just moving. There she is. There's my champ right there. Look at you, girl. Go around to the other side. There you go. All right, so she was on this outside frame. We're gonna put her right back in because she's a champion right now. She's doing well for, uh, I'm gonna say doing well for the time they've been in a 10 frame box compared to what they were. So, this is gonna be crazy, trying to put this on there. Uh, what to do? I 
just hate this because every time you pull this frame out, it does that. It's gonna smash. Probably smash bees. So right now I gotta give peppermint a win because this had peppermint on it and it's not uh, doing anything. Uh, I haven't, I didn't see the first hive beetle in this box at this point. I think we've done really good with gonna put this back on and I'll think about what I'm gonna do with this colony um, but they look good so far I'm not gonna put any high beetle traps in there because I didn't see any high beetles so I'm gonna say peppermint's doing its thing <laughs>